Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to be inserting a TikTok video of my most asked questions that people ask me about my curly hair as I oil my hair. But I'm the queen of the thick, juicy, fluffy curls. We've been in a little bit of a funk right now, so I'm going to be oiling my scalp as I answer some of my most asked curly hair questions. She's a little bit stinky, I'm not going to lie. Especially my scalp, like I'm going through so much dandruff and an itchy scalp, like it's actually insane. Which is where my hair growth oil comes in handy. Not only does it target hair growth, but it also takes care of my itchy scalp. Let's get into these questions. Wait, that's so embarrassing my phone died all right my most asked question which is starting with number one what are my favorite styling products the first one would be the jane carter leave-in conditioner which leaves my hair super super soft and it makes it super easy to detangle and the next one would be the mayel coiling custard that one is just oh my god it's totally my favorite the way that it defines my curls to the gods the next one is what is actually my hair type so on the top outer areas i have 3c hair then on the bottom right here i have 4a low porosity curls what is my hair color so this was my inspiration which is like a cowboy copper my inspiration was my old hairstylist from Florida and I love her but when I asked my current hairstylist that did this color she told me that the shade was almost like a honey auburn so as far as like in a specific shade I think we're both unsure <laughs> What is my favorite hair mask? It's this one, and when I'm telling you that the way that it softens and nurtures my hair, it does not compare to any other hair mask that I've ever tried. But I look crazy right now, and I can't wait to wash. I'm going to be doing my entire wash day routine on YouTube, and I'm also going to be answering some more questions over there. So if you want to see how the rest of my wash day looks, head on over to my channel. I can't wait to achieve results like this. Bye. <gasps> We're back you guys. Like you have no idea how much I actually want to yap with you guys. But yeah, let's continue with the questions The next one is why was my hair so damaged and the reason why my hair was so damaged is because my grandma actually did a perm on my curls I lived with my grandma in New York for quite some time and it was just a lot easier for her to manage my hair when it was straight Versus when it's curly because I mean look at I have a lot of hair and I honestly don't blame her like she did what she had to do with what she had you know so that's why my hair was super heat damaged and that's why it also took me such a long time because even after I got the perm I continued to straighten my hair up until I was in middle school the final question that I have is how do I refresh my curls somebody recently asked this on my channel and to be very honest with you I don't refresh my curls I don't know how that's like so normalized for other people probably because we have different hair types but for my hair type, it does not work. <laughs> but I've tried, like trust that I've tried like refreshing my curls and it looks so ugly and it just doesn't work. So I kind of like thug it out in between. I also try my best to wear a bonnet every single day that my hair is done and it looks pretty because one, it creates less frizz. I'm also able to go much longer with my hair out. So if you ever want to try my bonnet, I recommend getting it from my TikTok shop. That's the bonnet that I use religiously and I'm 1000% a fan. The reason why I like sectioning my hair is because I actually like to get into like the nitty gritty of some areas and i can't do that if i don't section my hair there's no better feeling than doing that wow <laughs> look at these roots are they too long i don't know i kind of wanted to redo my roots after i come back from vacation because i'm gonna be in the pool i'm gonna be in the beach i don't want my hair to go through all of that right after dying it so i'm just gonna wait and tomorrow i have an appointment at the dermatologist to figure out why i had such a huge allergic reaction to the hair dye that my hairstylist used I've dyed my hair before, so that's why it wasn't really a concern to me whether or not I was going to be allergic. It actually didn't even cross my mind, to be very honest with you. The universe loves playing tricks, you know? But I went to my hairstylist. We were having an amazing day. Everything was great. Then I noticed that my hair was a little bit itchy, like my scalp was a little bit itchy, but I'm like, okay maybe it's just my body that needs to get used to the hair dye i've never really experienced my scalp being itchy after dyeing it so that was something new i've even bleached my hair before so that was a shock to say the least hormones do change so i wouldn't be surprised if like something changed within my body then now i'm allergic but anyways i go to bed that night i'm thinking to myself i'm not gonna wash my hair because one it's already styled i feel like it's gonna be kind of like a waste if I wash it but I woke up the next morning and I look at my shoulder I just take a quick glance I don't know for some reason I oh right here I was here I looked at myself real quick I had a huge spot on a roncha like so big I immediately got scared I'm like oh my god like what is going on I checked my scalp I literally have like poo coming out of my scalp like I texted my hairstylist immediately and I'm like what should I do what is going on should I wash it I washed it immediately she told me to wash it I put some coconut oil as well 
just to like relieve the itchiness i also took benadryl but then after all of that since it took me so long to heal my skin and my scalp i was oozing from my scalp that's how bad it was i ended up having my lymph node swollen which was one of the worst experiences ever like i did not feel like myself for the next two weeks and so yeah that's why tomorrow i have a dermatologist appointment just to figure out what i'm allergic to and I'm not going to put this oil on like the rest of my hair, like my ends especially, just to make sure that that's taken care of as well, like you know, the split ends and everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash with these specific hair products. Give me one second. I'm going to be using the Kristen S. The One Signature Shampoo as well as The One Signature Conditioner. I like the big bottle, like, yes. I'm also going to be using the Les Brands Deep Condition and Repair Hair Mask another product that smells just as delicious after that we're gonna get to styling and that's when i'm gonna see you again you guys it is the next morning and i am so exhausted <laughs> to close the door because everybody's sleeping but the worst mistake you could ever make as a curly girl is decide to wash your hair the next day instead of doing it right there and then because <sighs> and i'm not as exhausted as i thought i would be probably because i washed my hair and like my body feels awake i'm just a little bit hungry right now but yeah <laughs> really the mistake and the regret that we're dealing with this is my hair after i just finished washing it the reason i decided to go with the kristen s instead of the Les brands shampoo and conditioner is because i feel like the kristen s one just clarifies a little bit more and considering the buildup and the dandruff that my hair was experiencing i feel like that was the best choice it is feeling a bit dry though so i'm excited to see how this moisture is going to help with the products that i'm going to be styling with i also want to say that i have no moisturizer on i have nada on just literally came out the shower started doing my hair because i like to take a second shower after i do my hair i just feel like all the products that i end up using accumulate like on my back and i just it makes me feel super icky disgusting and it makes me break out and to prevent myself from breaking out getting acne scarring dark spots hyperpigmentation you know the drill i'm gonna be styling with the lust brands all-in-one styler which is called like step three i love the way that these products smell and the scent actually lasts on my hair so it ends up smelling very very good i like to do my entire head first with the one product that i'm using and then once i finish my entire head i like to go in again and use the gel I don't know if you could really tell, but you see how my hair is forming little water beads? That's because I have low porosity curls, so that's a way that you're able to find out if you have the same hair type as me. It is so hard for my hair to absorb moisture. It's crazy. Look at what the texture ends up looking like. It's almost like this milky but jelly texture. I go in with a little bit of product. And because my hair still feels very, very dry, I'm going to go back in with water and then repeat the same process one more time. You see how it sounds like that? That's really good. That means that the moisture is actually getting to my hair. But I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more water and probably a little bit more product just to make sure that it's fully saturated. And that feels way better. You see how it runs more smoothly? That's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and use a second product anyway the second time around, but we still want to make sure that we have a good base to start with. Having to find beautiful big fluffy curls takes a lot of time and it's a little bit tedious, but it is so worth it once you have your styling method down. I used to dread doing my hair so much because I didn't really know which type of products would actually give me the results that I want. But now that I have my method down and my hair products down, it makes the process so much easier looks so juicy this is the base that we want to start with i'm also in the second round of water so i put water in here for the second time that's how you know i'm using a lot of it let's go ahead and use the Les brands irish sea moss gel this time it doesn't have to be like super small sections a small nonetheless this is what we're starting with sometimes if it's a little bit too dry i like to go back in with the all-in-one styler if not then i'll just wet it run my fingers through it and then apply some gel a little bit dry because it is the bottom part of my hair and it's rubbing against the t-shirt so i'm only gonna put one little tiny bit before i put in the gel i'm also going to add a little bit more water because i don't want it to have like such a hard gel cast I'll be applying the gel on my hands about that much put my hands a little bit and then when i run it through it's like soaking in so beautifully Look at how nicely it defines. I'm obsessed. 
Wow. My hair is long. God bless my hair. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm very happy to be me. I also love the woman that I am becoming. Like, I've been working so hard on myself and I've been doing so much self-reflection. I just love constantly improving myself. Like, obviously, I go through a period of time when I'm just having fun and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And then I go through another period of time where I'm focused and locked in on work. I'm working on myself, have a very small circle. I just want to bring up my money. <laughs> like, that's the kind of girl that I am sometimes. We're finally moving on to the last section before I start diffusing. My hair is looking so good. Wow. Especially because I'm on camera. Especially one time I did my hair live and you think it came out good? No, it did not. It embarrassed the fuck out of me. That's why I hate doing my hair live. Like, it never comes out good for some reason. I don't know if it's like the nerves or like what? What? Or maybe because I'm talking so much and I don't actually focus on my hair. Because you know on live how you gotta look at the comments, see what people are saying and yada yada yada. The front is like the biggest deal to me. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. I am so in love. Let me go ahead and diffuse and then I'll show you the end results. And because I feel like some people are gonna ask, I first diffuse with my hair looking like this, obviamente. I put the diffuser right here. I let all of my root dry first before I move on to the bottom of my hair because the root is what takes the longest. And after everything is a little bit dry, I flip my hair and then I start diffusing like that nothing crazy i just like to make sure that my roots are more dry than anything else before i move on to the rest of my hair hey guys i finally showered and i'm about to lotion up do my skincare routine i'm so excited because i felt so dirty and sticky and yucky and disgusting i'm going to quickly get ready with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and use the divine healing facial serum by my small little brand it's my favorite to prevent acne especially on wash days so that's why it's like a priority. It's a must whenever I wash my hair. Now I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel for the first time. This is the first time that I'm actually going to be using it. I like to apply it when my skin is still a little bit damp and not completely dry. It's so... Ooh, it looks like it's going to soak in beautifully. Wow. I love this moisturizer. This one I like to mix with the Holy Glow facial oil. I just feel like it locks in the moisture much better. And I do have sensitive skin, so it helps to target that as well. Yes, yes, and yes. For my underarms, I'm just going to put the Holy Glow straight up on its own because I cannot play and mess with my underarms. That is something that my skin will not tolerate. <laughs> it feels super nice. This is the deodorant that I love to use. I have eczema. And my skin does not tolerate just any deodorants, probably like my lifelong problem. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and use my fragrance for the day. I'm going to be using the Finery Pistachio Please. I lost the cap, it's somewhere in my room, I have no idea where it is, but i got to find it before I go on vacation because I'm definitely taking this. It has a fluffy vanilla scent, so I love to mix it in with this Bath & Body Works Vanilla Romance. It's not like the warm sugar vanilla that they have. This one though smells like such an amazing vanilla perfume. It almost reminds me of the one that Victoria's Secret has. But it smells like even better. Like it doesn't give me a headache. I also feel like this one is a perfect mix to mix with any perfume that you want to make sweeter. This one already has a fluffy vanilla note. Which is why this vanilla perfume goes hand in hand. The last step before I get dressed is the Beat the Sun Lightweight Sunscreen. I love it. It moisturizes really well. Okay, now I can get dressed. Let's see what the hair is currently looking like. I hope... <laughs> It's not ruined. It smells really good. This is what we're dealing with at the moment. Let me go ahead and continue diffusing. It's still very wet, to be very honest with you. This part is dry. That's why you can see a little bit of volume. But right here and everywhere else, it is not. I'll be back to show you the final results in just a bit. This is the moment of truth. It is the next day and my hair is finally 100% dry. It does take a while for my hair to fully dry, which is why I waited till like the next day to fully show you the results of my wash day. So let's open it up. I'm nervous. I don't like to fluff it out too much because naturally throughout the day it does it on its own. Wow, this wash day looks really good. And like I said, naturally, because I had a bonnet, it looks a little bit flat here, but eventually it starts to fluff out. 
Anyways, I'm so happy that you stood till the end of this video. Comment down below and let me know if any of these tips were actually helpful. I'm very excited to see a lot more beautiful fluffy queens out on these streets. Alright girls, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!